Hello everyone, Chris back with you guys in 2018. Um, everybody who's jumped aboard, all the new subs, thank you very much for jumping on board. Much appreciated. And all my subs, thanks for being here as always. Um, all right, guys, I don't, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I keep seeing these weird things in the skies, man. Uh, and some of these photos are just crazy. Now I had done a video about two, probably two and a half months. Uh, and it was, it was called, uh, are these, uh, birds or bugs in the Martian sky? Now these other photos also so uh, hello, show something similar. <laughs> I'll get that out. I promise. Um, and that's, what's bizarre. I mean, you just keep seeing these things in the sky. Now, some people may say, Hey, Chris, is it possible it's camera artifacts? Um, no, I don't believe it is. I'm going to show you that right now. And uh, I think you guys will like this because, um, yeah, it's a little bizarre, but, and the other thing is to, I'm going to go over a photo that uh, some people are having a problem with. Um, well, not having a problem with, but I think some of my subs may be in the fence, although they never have said that. I think you guys are pretty much on board with it. Um, but there are some people that are a little belligerent uh, that come by and say, oh, no, there's nothing more than effing rocks and shadows. So it's pretty funny. But I'm going to go over it anyway, just so people can see the way I view it and how I come up with that. Um, so, and that was called uh, another vehicle found on Mars. But um, anyway, here is one of the artifacts. There's two cameras that have that. It's the front right has cam as well as the uh, right mass cam or the M100. So we're going to check this out right here. Uh, and you can see it right here in the sky. It's very small. People, you know, people have been taken into this and they're saying, oh my God, you don't believe it. I, I, I can't believe it. It's a, it's a UFO. It, it's not. It, it's just an artifact. Nothing special. It's in the camera. You can't get it out no matter what photo is. In fact, you can do, do this yourself. Just check on any, uh, go into any cell. This happens to be 1908. I just randomly picked it. Nothing special. Um, randomly pick the photo. Check any photo you want and just go to the has, cam has cams and look for the right has cam and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's always in the photo. Uh, left one, it's not. Just the right. Um, anyway, let's go into another example I want to show you guys, and this is from the right mass cam, because on the, on the mass cam itself, at the top of the uh, mast itself, you have the box where it has four cameras. Um, two of them are the uh, two, the right and left nav cam, and then, of course, you've got the M30 and the M100 cameras, and the M100 being clearer, better picture, brighter, so on and so forth. Um, but here's a perfect example, again, of these weird little things on it. Right there, you guys can see that right there that little speck now there's a little gray one here it's like really light gray so it really blends in really hard to see um i'm going to show you this here because now we're going to go to the next one and no matter how much the scenery changes in this i'm just going to keep it where it's at it's that you can see the light one gray one there see that light gray and then you got the darker one it's always in the photo no matter how much the scenery changes it's right there again and of course the gray one you wouldn't be able to see um it's right there again even though they see you just see i'm going to go backwards now no matter what you do to this photo or what's in it, it's in the camera. There's no getting it out. Uh, that's a thumbnail we don't need. So anyway, you get the idea. These are these are artifacts. These, as far as I know, they're the only two cameras that have these artifacts in them, right? So let's jump into Sol 920. And funny enough, they you know they just happen to be looking at the sky. Now, a couple of things I want you to take uh, note of is that this is the Curiosity Right Nav Cam, okay, which is up on the mast. And it's on December 30th, 2017, 4 o'clock, or 22 minutes past 4, and 38 seconds past that, p.m., okay? I know, it's a lot, right? Um, now, I'm going to just go progressively forward, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. They just happen to, again, they're looking at the sky. Why, I don't know. you got all these wannabe mountains at the bottom, which I don't believe that they are, but that's a different story. Now, the next photo, you can see there's nothing there, nothing in the sky. Then, all of a sudden, you see this little speck right here. Okay, and now take note, it's still the same camera. It's just minutes, within a minute. It's like you're talking about a minute, minute and a half, give or take some seconds, but it's right there. And again, you can see just this prior one. See, it's 4.23, 10 seconds, 4.23, 37 seconds. So you're talking what? You're talking about what? 10 seconds, 20 seconds difference? So some of them are like a minute, minute and a half, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, the next one, 4.24 and 10 seconds. It's not there. It's nowhere to be found. Next one. Here it is again, or another one in the bottom lower left. And you can just see that next photo, nothing at all. Again, look at the time. Now we're to four, uh, four o'clock or 26 minutes past four and two seconds past that. And you can see that. Now I'm going to go backwards. You can see the time and look at, notice the frames. I'll see, you guys can pause this anywhere you want to. I'm going to go backwards now. Is the time dropping. There it is. Next consecutive one going backwards. Not there. Next one. It's now right here in the photo. Next one. 
just an open sky, and you can see the mountains below, and then, of course, the sky, and then, of course, you got the uh, the turret with the actual drill, and it stops and bumps and all that other good stuff. Um, so anyway, so what is it? What is it that we're looking at here, guys? And I want to show you this, because this is pretty This is pretty wild. I don't know if we can do it like this. Let's Okay, so we can go up here a little bit. Now, what I'm seeing, and I want to show you guys this a little bit closer, is it looks like a motion blur. You can see it's like, on, this one looks like around the 7 o'clock uh, area, so that would indicate to me that this thing would be flying off this way if it is, in fact, a bug or a bird. Now, uh, guys, there's no way of knowing this because, first of all, we don't know the distance from the camera that this item's even at. And secondly, it's out of focus, so we're not going to see any t detail that's worth anything, to be honest with you. Um, but it's just wild. You don't see the, the blur around anywhere other other than right around the between 6 and 8, eight o'clock where you can actually see it's like a blur, so it's going up this way. At least that's the way it appears. Now, let me go back to this other photo. Now we're going to go back. Whoops, my bad. Wrong way. And then now it's in the lower left. Let's have a look at that. Now let's bring it down a little bit. And again, this one's got it now. It's more about the 8 to 9 o'clock position as far as the blur. That indicates it's going more this way. Now, anybody who's into photography, and it really don't you don't even have to be a photographer to know that, but usually a blur means it's something flying by, or, or if it's running by, if it's on the ground, right? Um, but either way, it's something flying around. To me, it appears to be something in flight. Now, what it is, no idea. Um, I'm going to bring this way up for you guys, and you'll be able to see this a little bit better. This is the first photo. And you can see what looks like a blur, like a motion blur, like this thing's taking off or going to a certain, like this direction here. Okay, let's check the other one. And here's the other one. It's actually a little bit more almost to the center of the photo. And you can see it's more underneath, like, so it's going more this way. Not so much almost to the right, but going upward, like, you know, the other one. So is it something that's flying around the rover? Maybe it's a small bug? Is it something way up in the air that this thing happens to be going around? Because keep in mind, this is within 20 seconds. So something could have went in frame, uh, then left the frame, and then came back. We don't know. Is it something flying around it? I think there's things flying around there. This is like the second time I've done a video like this, and there's something flying around in it, right? So, all right, so let's jump to the other topic I wanted to talk about. And we can go to right here. Now, this is the photo in question I was talking about. Uh, this is that what looks like a car to me or something that's three quarters buried up halfway up the thing. Now, I've gotten people that are like, and everybody's pretty much on board. Yeah, it kind of looks like that to me, too. Uh, some people say, well, I'm, I'm more or less seeing rocks and stuff like that. And I'm okay with that. Now, sometimes you get these belligerent people that are just, you know, it's an effing rock, you moron, and this, that. I think it's hilarious because they don't even take the time to look it over. They just go, ah, this guy's out of his mind, and they keep going, right? Um, but I'm going to show you the difference between an opening and an actual rock. Now, uh, and of course, this isn't directed like being facetious or mean or anything, but um, this to me is cutouts. What's inside here is the shadows because people say, oh, it's just nothing more than a shadow. You say, okay, fair enough. Um, let me show you something. These to me are rocks. Now, I've done this before, and you guys have seen this. I'm pretty sure you have. Um, this is the one that, again, these are just more intelligently made rocks because just the back of this, and look at the way it goes across, comes down. Goes over here, has a bit of a rounded corner, comes all the way around like it's radius, see it? All the way nice and smooth, stops here, comes out in a straight little edge, goes back, goes over here, and then goes back out again to match the other side of this. So whatever that is, okay, then we've got this other stone that does this, goes across like this here, and you can see the face of it a little bit, and then of course it's long and stuff like that. And then wood over here, I don't know what that is, but when I checked that out, it looked like some kind of like 2D kind of carved animal Looks like its ears, its eyes, its head, and everything. And whether that is true, I don't know. I don't really care so much, but that's what it looked like to me. Um, but to me, these are intelligently made. Now, let's go over to a block, an actual, to me, it's been constructed. You can see it's straight, nice 90-degree corner, but then it kind of, like, goes down. See how, like, instead of being thick, it would come out to here. It's actually kind of going in. You can see what looks like. It almost looks like a disc or something on the side of this or some kind of detail. But regardless of its details, what I do see is I do see the face, well, the part of it facing me. I see the top. I see the side. Now, I don't see the other end or the other side, and I need, nor do I see the one on this side behind this rock. Don't see it. But I do see a 3D rock. I do see something there, right? And I see this other face of this rock, although I don't think it's a rock, but we'll call it a rock for now. And I can see the top of it. I can also see just a little bit to the right-hand side as well as the shadow. Now, 
what you got to do is now people got to prove to me um, that this is, in fact, where do you see a 3D? I don't see any 3D here. I don't see any object. I don't see any sides to it. I don't see any other side. I don't see. I just see what I see is a cutout. What I see is an opening. This looks like it's been bent up, this white piece. It looks like it was part of this. And then something's like jammed in this other opening. To me, I'm going to maintain it's like some kind of vehicle of some sort or um, some kind of, uh, you know, machine of something, something that's not natural. Um, and I can see this right here. Now, people will argue their point. Well, what you're seeing is shadows. OK, let's have a look at the shadows. It appears that the sun's coming from, I'm going to say upper left on the photo, but from the back, you know, it's coming. You can see the shadows and so on and so forth. Just like you see here, you can see what looks like this flat rock, shale, whatever it may be. I don't know what that is, it's, but it's kind of thin sticking right out of there. And it looks like it's got something thinner sticking out. But anyway, you can see how it's sticking up, kind of coming up like this here, coming up out of the ground. And of course, you see the shadows under it. Makes sense, right? Okay, this, I'm still not getting it. I am still not seeing anything. With no 3D at all, it looks like it's an opening. These are openings. They are not rocks. And this is what you, the top of it or the roof or whatever it may be. But openings, opening, and then top, and then everything else. And people say, well, it's got to be shadows. Why? If this has been manipulated a little bit just to kind of hide it or blend it, you're not going to see the shadows. They clearly went over the area. Because I can see shadows everywhere else. Like, again, in this lower right corner, we can see that, right? I can see that pretty clearly. Okay, that makes more sense to me. But when you, when you, when you got this, you know, when you got these, the way these are designed, again, they're openings and not rocks because I, again, I can, let me go back. I can see this has been cut out. This is an opening. This is an opening. This. So, I mean, I mean, some people may be on the fence about it and that's fine um, because it's, it really is hard to fathom. You're going, okay, how is it possible? There's a freaking car on Mars. It's very easy. It's very, if people just open their minds a little bit, is it possible there's a civilization just like we have here on Earth? Only maybe it was before people from Earth, meaning before we got started. Maybe we are the Martians. We move from Mars to here. How do we know? Of course, it's all speculation of, naturally, because there's no way of knowing that. I wasn't there. I wasn't there since the beginning of time here. I don't know. There's no way of knowing this. We can speculate. We can make conjecture. Sure. Um, but again, I mean, when I look at rocks like these... I see dimensionally. I see 3D. I see both sides of this pointed rock. This rock, well, kind of a skinny ridge, this pointy ridge and in, in this end of this rock. I see rocks. I see, I see dimensionally. I can see this, the top, the side, maybe the right side of it, or this other block. I see that. That makes sense to me. Again, face of a rock right here, this one right here, and of course, whatever that is. Um, but you get the idea. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and that's what I'm saying. These are cutouts. These are openings. They are not rocks. I don't know how people would look and say, okay, this happens to be three black rocks when there's dimensionally you can't see any other side of it. If this was a rock, then you should be able to see the top. You should be able to see the side of it. You should be able to see a shadow being casted from it. You don't see either it, any of it. So I hope this clears a little bit of it up. Um, some people just won't get it. They'll just come to the, you know, to the channel. You know, they might have came from another whatever they were watching and didn't even bother to put any kind of didn't bother to open their minds or just look at the thing. Um, and that's what you get. You know, me, I like to try to analyze the photo as much as possible from different angles. Um, is it possible that's what it is? OK. And you look at it. No. And, you know, you rule out things and then you make, you know, uh, you make a decision whether you think what it is. And of course, you let uh, like myself, I let my subs uh Tell me what they think it is because they may not all agree. And I don't I don't blame you. Everybody's in a different individual. Right. But when they come on the channel a little bit hostile about, oh, you have an idiot. <laughs> I think it's just I think it's just comical. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I got a moon video coming up. It's pretty cool. I think you guys will like that. Um, you know, uh, tell me what you guys think about the new look as well. Uh, trying something a little bit different, you know, uh, you know, to uh, uh, just that's it. <laughs> Try something different and make it a little bit more appealing. I think it looks better. Um but anyway, got some moons coming up. I've got other uh, cool um, uh, Martian photos coming up. Uh, and I've got other people have made suggestions and showed me photos as well. Thank you guys for submitting those. And uh, we'll definitely be doing those soon. Anyway, guys, have yourself a great day. And we'll see you in the next video.